Uh, here we are, our thoughts from the office, Rednecks Pride Outdoors. Another cage strapping tip. I believe this is number six, I'm not for certain on that. But uh, this, this job here had a lot of uh, raccoons in it. And uh, family units, what have you. And the uh, raccoons have been in this house for quite a long time. So we had to catch them all. All the ones that want to live here, which was a few, quite a few. We had to catch them all, and why we want to catch them all is, yeah, we can make the repairs. We can keep them out, but we don't, this particular customer, we don't want them to rip the shingles off the house and, and, and still trying to continue to get in. So we're catching all the raccoons that want to be here, okay? Um, and, and again, right there is where we had the trap, and we was doing good. We was catching the family units and what have you. Uh, but the last raccoon we caught was a male. You can still see the bait to see the some of the bait right there and as soon as we caught that boar we didn't catch any more raccoons so what I did was I simply took that trap and I put it there three feet just moved to three feet the trail still right here okay that's the uh, female She's still showing signs of nursing. She's not nursing now, but you can see where she was. So that was the one I was after all, all along. Well, I got her. I think I got one more to get, another young one to get. And then I think we're done here. Um, so, you know, as simple as moving a trap. A lot of times, uh, if the boar gets caught, the family unit's going to avoid it. If you're fur trapping in the, in the winter season, especially in January or December. Um, if you catch a boar in a spot, a lot sometimes that, that female who's not quite ready to breed, she's coming into heat or she's just past heat. She's been bred. She wants nothing to do with that male, and she won't go into that cage where, where the male was caught. Or maybe some of the younger females or males won't go into it. So... Uh, one of the ideas we came up with years and years ago was we realized that if you catch a big boar and you don't catch any more uh, raccoons in it, simply move the trap two, three feet. That's all you got to do. Again, front of the trap, facing the door, your baiting strategies, boom. Simple as that. Got the female. Now we just got one more young to get and we'd be done. Well, have a good day. Thoughts from the office, Rednecks Pride Outdoors.